Uh, the first time I rode a, a Suda 500 was about two months ago. Uh, I gave Eskil a call and I heard about this bike and uh, we were looking for new bikes for the GP Legends events and uh, to fill the grids up and uh, so I gave him a call, come and have a look and uh, not only he's got an impressive engineering centre but he unveiled this 500 which is uh, everything of the past and more of the modern uh, essentially and uh, then he said oh let's go and I'll start it up and see what you think so he starts it up and rides it outside and starts going up and down the street with no helmet on may I say with dogs running everywhere and my son and I are watching just going oh my god what's this crazy guy doing and uh, you could see how fast this thing it was just wheeling and accelerating fast and uh, and he came in and I just said, you're crazy. And uh, he said, okay, your turn. And I went, uh, I haven't got a helmet. Um, yeah, you don't need one. I said, well, you do, yeah, I need a helmet. So they brought this old helmet that the lining was falling out and scratched and I went, is that it? I put it on, it was all wobbly around. Anyway, I said, okay. Uh, I didn't want to show Eskel that I was too afraid to ride this thing. So I took off and fed up the street slowly, down the street, so I thought, oh, this is okay. So I give it a fistful and the thing just reared up on the back wheel, went over vertical, nearly backwards, and I'm, I've never crashed a, or flipped a, a GP bike before, and it came right over the back, and I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna be the first rider to crash a, a, a Suda 500, or first time I've ever flipped a 500 as well, and came back and pulled it back down, I got back, and, but I was a bit like that, very, very nervous. And I came in and my son, oh, dad, that's so cool. Can you do that again for me? I went, are you kidding me? <laughs> I said, I'm not doing it. I didn't mean to do it. And uh, I nearly shit my pants. <laughs>